Right, welcome to my man cave. This is the guided tour, come on in. Right, where to start? Where to start? It's something else from Gov. Right, hey, hey, <laughs> we'll get to them in a second. Let's well, just right, start on, with you're the main do, yeah. do you want to start the left and work way around right? We'll, we'll start here, yeah. Start with your, your TV and work Start with the TV. This is my original TV off when I was growing up. Um, I don't know, about 15 or 16 when I bought this for £300, about 20 years ago. So it's lasted all that time and it's, it's a beast. Mm -hmm. Love it. 28 inch, I think it is. It was one of the first wide screens I saw, and it was the first one in me or any of my mates had. So, uh, I wasn't sure how to set all my systems up, but I ended up going for Sega, then Nintendo, and then them on the top, just because of where I've got these holes. I've got a hole there for cables to go up and down, see my fingers? Oh, yes. And then I've, that's, hidden by the Super NES and then I've got a hole in the centre here because I was originally going to have my power underneath there so I thought if I put it in the middle it's like easy for it all but these stupid Sega blocks are too big to fit under there they do fit yeah. but it's a tight fit so I scrapped that idea and just mounted it to the back wall instead uh, let's see <clears throat> I decided to go for the Sega Mega Drive Mark 1 because everyone likes the Mark 1 better than Mark 2. Yes, I think it looks better. I do have a Master System Mark 1, but it wasn't working, so I put the Master System 2 in instead. Yeah, well, that's just a nice action, isn't it? it your mark, yeah, your mark the Mark 1, one wouldn't fit like it's yeah. just so much bigger, it probably is comfortable out there. Unless you swapped your NES and your Master System around there. Uh, I don't think it, it wouldn't even fit there, I yeah. don't think. It's more than half. But that's got Alice Kid built in anyway, so you don't get a free game in the Mark 1. Uh, normal Nintendo, which is a bit temperamental now and then. No game in it. My Super NES, which is a uh, bit brown on the front panel there. But apart from that, it's looking pretty nice. Pro Vortec there. Super, yeah. Super Pro Vortec there sat in it. Because I love me some Pro Vortec there. Then on the top shelf I have my Nintendo 64, an original Xbox, and the Wii. Uh, and I've gone for a power source where you can just turn it on, play your game, knock it off and then you can turn it off there. Because I did originally have a, this Super NES. The power brick was upstairs in my old man cave before I got turned into the kid's bedroom. Uh, it was on for months and months, I didn't turn the plug off. And when I come to move it, there was a bit of paper underneath it. And it was all brown and burnt as if it almost caught fire at one point. So since then I've been a bit wary of leaving any power brick, especially the Super Nintendo power brick, on for any length of time. I mean, you all know they do get hot anyway, but... The last thing you want is to burn something down. Uh, over here, I've got my GameCube with a few extra memory cards there and a PS2 which also plays the PS1 games which is handy. Now this is on a slant because of this, this in the back here. That's for the PS1 gun. Now the PS2 guns go into the USB there that's no bother, but the PS1 gun needs to have this daft little adapter so you can plug it into the side there which the PS2 normally that's nice and flexible you can get a nice nice angle on there where this little adapter it's rigid you, that's about as best you can bend it so it has to go on an angle but it's worth it so you can play gun games which is the whole point of having me CRT telly for the light gun uh, if I want to play on one of them, my PS2 is that one there, my uh, GameCube is the middle one, and that one's free for whatever I decide to put in during, in the future. Plug sockets underneath, same again, power on and power off, just like so. Now, the Wii and the original Xbox are both SCART as well. What I did is, I've got two SCART extenders, it's got two SCART sockets in the back of this telly. So I've got two extenders, 
so I can have them further away from the telly rather than having to go down the back of the telly or on top of the telly or something like that. Uh, same again, the left hand side is for the Xbox and the right hand side is for the Wii. Uh, when it comes to these, these aren't scart lead. Sorry, just tidying up. These aren't scart lead, these are just normal aerial cable. So I've put a, just a normal extender into the back of the telly, so if I do need to swap it, I don't have to root round in the back of the telly, I can just go up the side there. And uh, I've got my Nintendo one on here, that's the Super NES and that's the normal Nintendo. If I want to play on the Mega Drive, I just pop that off, put my Mega Drive one on, and it says Aerial, but one's for the Master System and that one's for the Mega Drive. And if I want to play on the N64, that's just the one by itself, somewhere. <laughs> and I just pop that off and put that one on by itself. I wouldn't mind eventually. I don't think it's ever going to happen because it'd be like about five or something for one of them. So I'm, I'm never going to, I'm not, I can't say it's buying one to have like six flicky switches so I can get to each one without having to pop that off. I think for, for the amount of effort it is to take that off and put that one on, it's not worth it. So that's that set up. See if I can get it all in there, Gav. Yeah, see if you can get it. Yes. Well, I've got my table and chairs underneath, which I couldn't get rid of because they were a wedding present. Yeah. You don't even see that much of the table once all the shelves are on. It's all free for standing. So if I ever wanted to, I can pull the table out and we can have the table in the middle of the room or whatever when we have a card game. Or whatnot. Right, right, very nice. You want to start, start on your shelves? I shall start at the top. Yeah, start at the top. Away There's my uh, Marvel collection. Want to talk this through here? What we looking at there, Gav? Marvel collection. Um, have a look. <sighs> Just graphic novels, as you can see. I think this one's pretty much done. He started sending us the classics. Uh, I've got a couple of classics here, actually. Yeah, classic. It's all in Roman numerals, so it takes a bit more sorting out than their uh, general numbers. But you got to do math to figure out where to put them. Wait, no, you, yeah, kind of, <laughs> I. I mean, what's that? X, X, V, I, I, I. What's that? 28? I don't know. Yeah, I think, I think that's I don't 28. Know, but, um, X is 10, so you've got two yeah. X's, there's 20, and the V, three I's is 8. Yeah. V's 5, and the that's I's is years. 1 each. So you have to sort of work it out each time, you know, which is a bit more awkward, but... I was I was contemplating putting them like once that's finished over this side, but I think I might have to put another bracket under there because there's some weight in all these books and it might be starting to bend. Yeah, it's bending ever so slightly. Slightly, like I said, I'm 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 going to have to put a proper bracket underneath just to help take the weight of them. Uh, right. Yeah, what have we got here? Call well, of Duty Modern Warfare. Yeah, I just put that in to stop that from falling over. To be honest, uh, got some bongos here. Which I am totally rubbish at. I've got no rhythm at all. And I've got my Mario paint. I don't know what to do with that. So I'm not interested <laughs> in it at all. <laughs> That's shocking. <laughs> it's a shelf filler, so I've been told. And then I've got my PS1 gun with uh, Project Titan. That's a new edition. Didn't come that long ago. A couple of random comics and all that. Oh, this one here. I've got to show you this one. This one is awesome. If you ever see that, I recommend getting this because it is brilliant. Yes, God, but is that when you borrow me? I took all yeah. the others. You literally, Wolverine like kills thousands <laughs> of people in that comic. It's no joke, he literally slaughters yeah. thousands he of gets people. He brainwashed to be bad and just slaughters people. It is. It is brilliant. Yeah. Right, top left again then, guys. Yeah, um, uh, a couple of batteries for me, 360. Just got them so I had them basically I know I haven't used them yet I've had them for months mm. and maybe probably even a year and then uh, there's me turtle beaches and a spare joy pad for the 360 again there in here because I had the 360 there but I've took it out since so a uh, few of my games I've got for the mm. PS Xbox 
Hi, Ninja yeah. Guy. I haven't played that one yet, but the second one is brilliant. There's your Family Guy, Crash Bandicoot, Batman Begins. Oh, I've got to show you this one, Future Armor. I'm not playing that at the moment. I played it on the PS2 back in the day, and I loved it. So I got it for the Xbox, and I thought, wait, well, the Xbox has got better graphics than the PlayStation uh, PS2, so I thought, I'm going to get it on the Xbox and then compare. Funny problem is, I can't remember <laughs> what it played like on the PS2, so I'm going to have to go through that one again, probably. These are just overspill, these 360 games here. I'll show you the rest of my 360 collection once I've been around here. What's that, Watchmen? Oh. It's good graphics, but it's not a good game in particular. It captures know. the film really well, I found. Alright, and on yeah, to... And then yeah. on my PlayStation 1 games. Which, which is... Uh, hang on, I'm getting... You can't feel alphabetical order, really, Gav. Do I go up or down or what? What's happening? Yeah, I, it, I, I put them in alphabetical order, but when you put them in alphabetical order, stab them like that, you naturally start from the bottom. Yeah. Uh, like a couple of days ago, I looked at it and thought, oh, them's upside down, aren't they? I'm going to have to pull the full rows out and flip them all upside down to put them all back in again. Heart of Darkness, good game. Yeah, aye. You go there. Here we go, he's the guy. Have them two there. Brilliant games. Yes, odd world, you really can't beat odd world. Games, like. Rayman is there, greatest PS1 games and all. Rayman 1, Rayman 2 though. Rayman 1 is the first game I ever completed 100%. And because Starting you didn't progress. get any bonus for doing it 100%, I never played it again until like, uh, well, a couple of years ago maybe. Because you didn't get anything and it was just like, it took us so long to do it. Worms, I played that game so much on PS1 as a kid. Worms Armageddon, I did, aye. Yeah. And the GameCube collection? Aye, there's my GameCube collection. And there's a Perverse Dream. BMX Triple X. Yes, we'll show you the front cover. <laughs> Perverse Dream. Aye, Chris loves it. There's uh, my Mega Man Anniversary Collection and my Freeloader, so I can play it. Yes, you are a Freeloader. Uh-huh. Look at this, right? We've just been on about Oc Ocarina of Time in the car on the way back, and Gav's like, oh, I've never played it. I says, oh, you've got Wind Waker. Opened it up. I says, oh, there's Ocarina of Time there, all is it? Oh, I didn't know. So yeah, you didn't... I haven't played it yet. You didn't even know that you owned Ocarina of Time. When you've got this many games, you don't have a chance to play them all. It shows how little Gav cares about Zelda, and I'm just like, yeah. I like having Zelda stuff so I can rub it in Chris's face. <laughs> Come on, to the left again. To the left. Right, here's my Nintendo collection. A bit modest, but it's starting. It's a start. Uh, what have we got? These are pretty much all them ones there. Are all of that last car boot sale we went to. And then got Gradius, which is a lovely game. I love that game. It's awesome. Yes, very good game. Or Gradius. Depends which one you want to call it. Same for Life Force Salamander. Another that type of game. Good game. We have also got Burai Fighter, which is basically the same type of game, except for in a spaceship. You're not in a spaceship, yeah. That little gadgy there. <laughs> I haven't played this one. I used to play it all the time. I had it originally when I was a kid. And I could complete it. But the trick to completing that game is don't die, because <laughs> once you die... <laughs> Is that a trick for every game, Gav? Yeah, but once you die the first time, you lose all your power-ups and special items. You can get them back, but it's hard by the time you get further on, you know. Uh, so that that's how you do that one, anyway. Uh, Gauntlet 2. Awesome and a quick game. blast on that, aye. Uh, got me a Turtles Arcade game there. Didn't pay that price, got a bit knocked off it. I haven't played it yet because it's still wrapped up, obviously. And then we've got DuckTales, which is uh, one of the best for the years, do you think? It's definitely up there, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely up there with them. Because that is a pure quality game. The amount of times I must have gone through that as a kid. Right, what else have we got? Game Boy Collection. Game Boy Collection. In there. Yeah, there's, a, there's a few good ones, actually. A couple of yellow cards. Yeah, I've got Mario Land 3, Gremlins 2. Alleyway, Donkey Kong Land, 
X Men, X Men Wars and Academy. And then what have we got back here? Oh. Mario and Yoshi, which I've got on the Nintendo as well. I didn't have to see any difference between them. I've got Tiny Toons. Then we got Donkey Kong Country, Darkwing Duck, uh, Adventure Island 2, Donkey Kong Land 3, Game & Watch Games, Mario Blast, uh, Pokemon Red with knee cover. I'm going to get rid of that because I'm never going to play it. don't care about Pokemon. Uh, Mario Land 2, Kirby's Dream Land, Donkey Kong Land 2. Looney Tunes, Martian Revenge, Bomberman, and The Grinch. That's my. Yeah, some not bad titles in there, though. Yeah, oh, and I've got Mario, Mario One on there. That's on the uh, Game Boy Advance, or one of them, I should say. So, not bad. I got Batman Vengeance for the Advanced, and it doesn't work as far as I can tell. It might suddenly start working when I try it again. Oh, I've got Duke Nukem as well, which is a, one of them snidey copies I picked up from one of these conventions. From Doncaster. It was Doncaster, aye. It was the only one out of three cards that actually worked. Uh, let's have a look. Super NES collection, what have I got in this? Got Joe Mack, Game and Ninja. Aladdin. Starfling. I almost said Star Fox there. That's the American version in this Star Fox. Sim City Earthworm Jim 2. Which is a hell of a game, mate. Right? It's hard as out. And then what have we got? We've got Ghost Trap, Kirby's Ghost Trap, which is a Dr. Mario type game. Is that anything like Dr. Mario? It's a bit like Dr. Mario, aye. Killer Instinct. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. Mario All Stars, which is a freebie of somebody. And Super Mario World. Do you know how that freebie was off, like Chris? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> I th I actually, yes, I forgot to give you that. Look through your collection. There's actually a couple of games I'll give you for free. Yeah, that's it. You've, you've known, noticed them both now. Yeah, <laughs> was, was that it was the yeah, two? A couple, yeah. You were, you were right, technically, a couple. <laughs> right. right, come on then. PS3. Brilliant game, 3D Dot Heroes. I say a brilliant game, I haven't played it yet, but the, re the review of it looked Yes, yeah, so I've just seen really, a review really, really nice yesterday. Yeah. As soon as I walked in and sat there private place, I'm like, God, I've just seen it on YouTube <laughs> yesterday. It looks awesome. Um It's like just a like, bit of a Zelda clone in it yeah, so that's why I like yeah. it. General general games really. God of Wars. I've got one and two in there that I'm on playing at the moment. God of War three, Ascension, uh Heavenly Sword, which is basically a God of War, except you're a chick. Not a bad game. Uh, then all the rest really like no no our special. Mario oh, on the Wii way. games now, all in alphabetical order obviously. Mario is just on the end there because why not? Couple of crashes, Goldeneye, another gun game, House of the Dead, Super Mario Galaxy, Mario Kart. Yes, and Mario's at the end there. Yes, again, Yeah. decent titles. Right, down to the Mega Drive. The Mega Drive. I want to drop down a bit. Uh, Bonanza Brothers, what a game that is. I'm sure where I know it's Alex Brothers, go. That's what you want to start with. Alex the Kid, sorry. Alex Brothers, no, uh, Alex, start with... That's because I'm talking Bonanza Brothers and Alex the Kid at the same time. What Bonanza a game Brothers. that is. Yeah, Lovely two good. player game, that it's one. It's a good game, Bonanza Brothers. Yeah. Alex Kid, eh? Is that what you want yeah, to talk that's about? Yeah, that's a good game, not like. It's not bad. It's not one of my favorites. It's Alex Kid, isn't it? It all grew up, I was like Alex the Kid, but it's not Alex yeah, the Kid, it's, it's just Kid, Alex I, Kid. Yeah. Uh, what else have we got? Not played Comic Zone yet. Might have to stick that on today actually. Fatal Fury. No bad game. Decent one. Uh, flashback Golden Axe 2. You don't see very often. Well, yeah, don't. It's not It's not uncommon, it's just you don't really see it. So the Ghosts and Girls. Good game that one. Really good. Played that one. A few more Hellfighter, another shooter game. James Bond. James Pond 2. I've played that in a while. I've played, <laughs> I just played loads growing up. I played it loads growing up, but I, I don't know why I did. I've got the Mega Games 1, 2, and 3. See, that's mm. got 
uh, Golden Axe 1 on it which is why I never really bought Golden Axe separately I kind of wish I have but I can't see the point if it's already on there so what's the point point? and this one here this one's got Alien Storm which is basically Golden Axe except you've got a cyborg a woman and another guy and really cool game uh, Michael Jackson, Micro Machines times 2 Mercs is a good game that's a bit like Smash TV almost except you're not in a stadium uh, a couple of Sonics for them sure I had Sonic and Knuckles somewhere but I can't find it so I might have been wrong Spider-Man, Streets of Rage 2 I thought I had Streets of Rage 3 as well it's a story of Thought. Story of Thought. Thought, Thought. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's a, it's an RPG that, that type game. I, I went through it actually, which is a bit weird because back then I wasn't even into the RPGs as much. Uh, Syndicate, what a game that was. It's like an isometric view where you sort of assassins and you have missions to go kill somebody or go do something. Blast from the arcades is toogie. Yeah, like. Where you're a monkey and you shoot balls out of your mouth. X Men, good game that one. If you want uh, another good X Men game, X Men 2 on the Mega Drive is supposed to be really good, but it's also really expensive, which is why I don't have it. And there's a couple of uh, Mega CD, Road Avenger, and the Sega Arcade Collection. This has got Golden Axe on it. But there was something weird, I think it's only one player or something. There was something weird about the Golden Axe on there. In the fact that it wasn't as good as the way it is on the Mega Drive. But I haven't got a Mega CD yet, so... Is that a Master System you. Adapter? Yeah, that's the Master System Adapter. Which is pretty pointless, the only reason I've got it now is for the card. Which I haven't got any, so... Here we have my light gun shelf, which is... Point Blank 1 and 2, Time Crisis and Time Crisis Project Zero and Die Hard Trilogy on the PlayStation 1. And for the PS2, I've got Crisis Zone, Ninja Assault, 2 Time Crisis, Vampire Night, Virtual Cop and Endgame. Now that Endgame, I didn't even know it was a gun game. I just found out a couple of days ago. <laughs> but, yeah, never played it yet. My Amiga little N64 collection. Donkey Kong Country 64, Castlevania, Killer Instinct, and Mario and Mario Kart. All good titles, though. Yeah. Small, but very good. Yeah. We've got uh, Cybernator for the Super NES boxed, which is just there because it's the same size as the N64 boxes. My PlayStation Vita with a few games. Not a massive collection. It's got, I think it was the uh, Adventure Pack downloaded onto it, which is uh, <sighs> Uncharted and whatnot. There's my Master System games. With another gifted game there. Yeah, yes, that's the second game that Chris gave us, which is Action Fighter. For free? For free, yes, it was free. But Chris got a lot for free for me. There's Transbots, Rainbow Island, Lemons, Super Tennis, Great Golf and Altered Beast. And then we got E's or Y's. <laughs> Y's. Shadow of the Beast, Sonic the Hedgehog, World Soccer, Pro Wrestling, Rescue Mission, and Sega Chess. I love Rescue Mission. Awesome show to game that. <sighs> it doesn't take long to get bored of it, yeah. Got Double Dragon here. Got that like three times or something. Donald Duck, Dick Tracy, a couple of Fantasy Zones. Got that one, not realising it was the Pac Man clone. Still a good game though. Yeah. And then got Fantasy Zone 2, yes. which is more like the original. They are awesome games. Golden Axe on this as well. Which I'm not, I think I might be mistaken, but I think you can only play as the Barbarian on that. Which is terrible because I was always the dwarf. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Well, yeah, he was the best, that's why. Yeah. Uh, Bit of our type going on there. Yes, our type. Spy vs. Spy. I only got this one because Chris was on about it. Not okay. played it. I wouldn't mind having a two player game because apparently that's the way you go about it. I, just, I remember that from the Spectrum when I was younger. Yeah. I keep going about the Spectrum, lad. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, Master System there. Yeah. Got all these Mega Drive uh, PSP games down here. Obviously, I haven't played them all, but I was just picking them up for like a quid each on average, you know. So why not? Before they gone up in value, I do have intentions of playing them, but a couple of yeah, like yeah, Metal Slug Anthology. Right. You get Metal Slug, Metal Slug 2, Metal Slug X, 3, 4 and 5, and Metal Slug 5 and 6, sorry, so I can't go wrong, Sega Mega Drive Collection, you get all kinds of 27 Mega Drive classics on that, sweet, uh, what else have we got, Castlevania, Dracula X, paid 12 quid for that, that's probably one of my more expensive recent PSP purchases. Just his League Heroes. And I've got another collection here, Capcom Classics. You like your collection games? I do like the collection games, yeah. But that Metal Slug I've got on that, and I've also got on the uh, Wii as well. Metal Slug Anthology on the Wii. No, I don't think you have as many on this. You might do. No, you do, I. Well, keep moving, Gav. Yeah, keep it going. We're getting on, we're on 25 yeah. minutes. Got three DS's, one 3DS, and Game Boy Color, and then blah de blah de blah. No, like these are the 3DS games. Just gotta show you this one. Still wrapped, I haven't yeah, opened so it yet. If you play that, so you can give us a review. Yeah. Possibly. It does it, get. It is, it's supposed to be like DuckTales for the Nintendo. Which is awesome, and then just like they're just random DS games. I just put there for the for the moment. I think I'm going to chuck them out the way and maybe just put some 360 games down there instead. Mm. Oh, pick up something today. Well, there's there's a sneak peek on some pickups that we just done today from uh, Nerg. Right in here, this is mainly like <sighs> PS2, PS1, Control. 360 batteries, couple of cases of whatnot. Wii controller in the bottom. That's that's mainly just a jump straw that can get in there as well. In there, more PlayStation memory cards for the PS2, Game Boy, uh, GameCube one even. Bottom one there is loads of wires for all the. You don't need drawers just for wires. Yeah. Though, where else you want to put the wall? That's the thing. I mean, there's me. There's a Wii Pro, whatever you want to call it. A couple of light guns for the Nintendo. Super NES joypads. PS2 joypad, I've got nation PS2 joypads by the look of it. Three N64s, two Nintendo, two GameCubes in that one. Eventually I'm going to swap these out and make myself some proper drawers. Same size, just probably like one long draw for each one of these two. I don't know. There's a lot of accessories for the Wii. Guns, whatnot. Single gun there. I don't know what the point of that is because you just have to hold the... Hold the nunchuck into the hand. PC collection games. I'm sure I've got more somewhere, but I just stuck them down there for the moment out the way. Max Payne. I'm going to put shelves across there eventually. I should be able to get three three levels of shelves on there. You see the next one will be like that. So, I haven't played with PC for a while. Like I used to, used to play on it all the time. This game here, this was the best game, this is my favourite game of all time, without a shadow of a doubt, online, Renegade, Call it Command and Conquer Renegade, just the, the way you used to play it, Yeah, I, I, it takes too long to describe but that's, I paid over a grand for a PC just so I could play that game online, well after the fact that when it was brand new you know. Right. Right. PS2 now. Your wall of PS2. Yeah. Is, um, your biggest collection. Yeah. It did originally used to go right down to the floor, but I wind it, widened it yeah. up. This is where your PC is, isn't it? Yeah, there's my PC. Here. I'll shift my roll the chair. Yeah, you're not, not getting a bit closer. Too many games to go through all of them, like, so I'll just let Chris roll the camera along them all. 
All in alphabetical order again, which is a nightmare. Is I right? say the all in alphabetical order, but the eye toy stuff is all in a bundle. And I took all the gun games out. Just so if you are playing with the eye toy, which I never have done and probably never will do, they're all together, you know. What's Ghostbusters like on the PS2? I'll just say that there. I funny enough, Chris, I haven't played it yet. Oh, you could escape from Monkey Island. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you had that. Swap cheese. Ben's what for? I'll figure some of it out. Let me see what it is. Single games. Oh, yeah, it's the switch your brain off games, there, aren't you? Oh, yeah, they just do a hack and just slash. Hack and games, slash yeah. you're awesome. Only two buttons you need, really, is a strong strong attack and a medium attack, you know? Yep. Yeah. Yes, quite a collection, Gav. Yeah, it, it, the thing is, though, there was like about 3,000 games, maybe 4,000 games for the PS2. That's not even a quarter of the PS2 collection. You know, it's more like an eighth or something. Yeah, how many have you got? Uh, I'm not sure. It could be about 400, mm -hmm. maybe. Like four Mortal Kombat games for the PS2. Yeah, hi. One of them's still unopened. Midway Arcade Treasures there. A couple of Metal Slugs right next to it. Three and four. I passed up on five one time and I haven't seen it since. Like six quid or something, I wish I got it in that respect. One of Rayman's, Resident Evil's, two R types, what's R type final? Oh, R racing and R, R type final. R type's good, like. It's a four Simpson, four Simpson games. <laughs> yeah, you're amazed at how many of some of the stuff you actually brought out. I'll shift the monitor out the way so you can get right down to the back of there. Anatoly Arks, time slippers. Did you about Tekken. Did you about the latest Tony Hawks game? I think it might have been on the 360 or the PS3. The house. The uh, whoever bought the rights to Tony Hawks just like sat on it for ages, and they were about to run out, so they decided to chuck a game out. Well, they didn't have time to finish the full game, so they released the game like on the last day that they had the contract for it yeah and as soon as you put the game in you got a massive patch like an 8 gig patch for it which basically was the full game you just sold the game unfinished and all that was on the disc is the tutorial <laughs> so you bought the tutorial and once you put it in you had to download the game online so if you, I don't know which one it is. I'm sure it's not Project Days. I think it's a, it's a later version because it would be no good on the PS2. A lot of people didn't have internet on it. So yeah. one more pan round of your man cave, Gav. Yeah. I'll show you where my uh, other stuff is. It's in the living room. Nicely set up in all these shelves. Might not stop tidy for that long, mate. Kids have already tried to take over. Yeah. Right. Into the living room. There's all my DVDs and my uh, DC comics as far as they've got so far. And then over here is uh, the rest of my 360 games. Obviously they're double stacked, so I've got more behind it. I'll show you a selection from behind. There you are, see. <laughs> yeah, just throw them at us. Yeah, just chuck them at him. Aye. More 360 games underneath there. A couple of spare Wii games that I'm not really bothered about. A few Xbox One games. Oh, what are you games there? Mario Maker. We use the bands like. Yeah, some of your Wii U area. Yeah, my Wii U's down the down the corner there. That's where my GameCube used to sit. I've got another Wii on there, <laughs> which hasn't been used in ages. Well, is that your PS3, Xbox? PS3, 360, Xbox One, and Sky Plus. Yes. All right. So. 
That's it. Yeah. Is that it for your road tour, your man Kev? I think so, yeah. That's about it. Happy with it? I am happy with it, yeah. Um, like I say, I'm not bothered about the shelves being grey because you can't see the background wall with all the stuff in the way now, so it's sort of... I did have it a dark grey originally. And when I thought about it, because I realised that all these is going to cover the background wall, I just painted the whole wall the same colour as all the rest of them. And my intention is to paint the wall opposite is the dark grey, like feature wall if you want, mm. or something like that. I might paint it a different colour yet, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, right, that's my man cave. Now go away. <laughs>